Hey everyone. So you can believe the politicians if you want. I think they're basically doing what's told, especially when it comes to uh, the illegal immigrants coming to places like New York and Chicago. If people really think that your mayor really has in control to bring those people there, might want to think again. More than likely, it would occur to me that these orders are coming down from the top. Yeah. More than likely. We all heard during the debates for the presidential election that they were going to invest in the immigrants. So let me go ahead and just play this clip of what is being said. And let's look at something that actually happened. So I'm going to go ahead. This will be part A. Then we're going to have part B for further commentary. So listen to this part right here. And then there are no guarantees for safety. Then I want you to see what happened at one location when they brought some illegal immigrants in Minnesota. So check this out. Here we go. I'm sorry. Others who are a part of a group called Concerned Black Citizens. Hold on, let me start this over. Let me go back. Because I really want you to hear. Okay, so here we go. Strong words spoken outside of City Hall by Jessica Jackson and others who are a part of a group called Concerned Black Citizens of Chicago. The South Side has been under-resourced, underfunded for years, for decades. And it's just, it's disrespectful to the community. Many called on Mayor Brandon Johnson to put a stop to migrants coming into the city. Lamartin Edwards specifically talking about a recent meeting about proposed migrants housing in Roseland near Halstead in 115th. We just want to know what he's going to do about that. We don't want those migrants in that area at all. We asked Mayor Brandon Johnson, will Chicago continue to be a safe haven? Yes. You think so? Stick around for part B. We're going to talk about a safe haven.